So you remember in 2016, there was uh, this guy, Nate Silver. You kept hearing his name, Hillary Clinton. Oh, Nate Silver at uh, 538 said that we're going to win. Right? Nate Silver is some, some jack-off hack, right, that he's um, he's been calling elections. <laughs> he's the one that the Democrats lean on for their, uh, for their uh, you know, to analyze the polls, right? So Nate, Nate Silver's back again, right? It's two years later, and he he he's the one who said that Hillary Clinton had had a ninety five percent chance of uh, beating Trump, right? That he that that Hillary Clinton had like a like a thirty point lead. The guy's an idiot, right? Nate Silver. So so he's back again, right? And um, so I'm just gonna true pundit did this. Um, pointed at this article about the Democrats not being able to uh, to, to, to uh, capture the Senate um, that they're going to lose right the, the House and the Senate see they, they've been saying Democrats have been saying all along oh we're gonna we're gonna capture the House and we're gonna have capture the Senate right they're not going to capture shit because the the paradigm is shifting towards something else right? People don't trust the Democrats anymore because of a two-party system. The default is the Republicans. And they're, they're you know, just as big, if not a bigger trap for people to fall into. So this is politics. You know, it's now the Democrats are going to lose and the Republicans are going to take over. But you, you just, you, you just, you just, you know, again, it's this transfer of wealth. You, it, it's a billionaire piss fest fighting over stuff, right? So let's look at this article from NTK Network. Dot com. I don't, I don't know who they are, but true pundit is pointing at them, so I guess they're valid. Democrats have been and continue to be bullish about their chances of returning the House gavel to Nancy Pelosi, the current House minority leader. But the Senate is a different animal altogether. In order to win the majority, Democrats would need to retain all of their democratically held seats and win two Republican held seats. Sounds easy, right? Wrong. Ten Democrats up for a re-election in 2008 represent states won by Donald Trump in 2016. 538's Nate Silver posts, It may be the worst Senate map that any party has faced ever, or at least since direct elections of senators began in 1913. All right. Politico goes one step further. Democrats must also protect incumbents in ten states that Trump won in 2016. Five of those senators, Indiana's Joe Donnell, Donnelly, Missouri's, uh, Missouri, excuse me, <laughs> Missouri's Claire McCaskill, uh, Montana's Tom Tester, North, Carol- North Dakota's Heidi Hatkamp, and Munchen, Mansion. <laughs> Killing their names. Represent states where Hillary Clinton failed to muster even 40% of the vote. So the Democrats are fucked, right? They've been saying all along, oh, yeah, we're going to win. But they're cheaters and they're liars and they're, 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 they're thieves and they're, they're, they got their ass up, their lunatic left asses, right? Where, they, where they're, they're all about, they don't, they know, it's easy. I, I, mean, I sound like a broken record, but it's easy to point and say, what you're against, like uh, what, what's her name, Ellen, right? Trump just rescues, goes to North Korea. When Obama got somebody released from North Korea, the guy came back a zombie. Remember that guy? The guy was they beat the shit out of him, and then they 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 negotiated for his the North Koreans beat the shit out of him, and then the U.S. under Obama negotiated for his release, and the guy came back and he died like an hour later came back a vegetable so but trump releases three guys and they're on the tarmac and they're celebrating and popping corks and hugging the president and what does fucking ellen ellen the generous go on tv and say she says oh yeah you f- the, you know you're out of prison but th- the good news is you're out of prison and the bad news is you got donald trump is waiting for you at the tarmac what a jerk off what a fucking jerk off ellen fuck you ellen All right so what else about this article? Democratic brand. There's no asset in many of these places. Eventually important. The president 
known for his historically weak approval ratings at the national level, remains popular locally in states like Montana and North Dakota and, and West Virginia. Right? This is all bullshit because Trump is wildly popular. Trump is a wildly popular president. He is, he is, is flaming the, 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 the corruption, right? And people love that. But what people don't understand is that it's transfer of wealth. He's really not the, 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 the gains that you think are going in your pocket are not going in your pocket. They're going into the corporate pockets. It's the same system. It's a transfer of wealth. And, and Trump is a master at, uh, you know, at that game. You know, you won't beat him at that game. <sighs> what else is in the news? And while countless other factors are at play, perhaps the most impactful factor is Trump himself. Not willing to sit idle by and let the GOP majority fizzle away, the president plans to take an active role in the 2018 midterms. Damn right he's going to do that. That's, that's what Trump does, you know. That's what Obama promised he would do, and, and, and he went to the White House and he never came back, right? So, so, so here you have, uh, that, that's really it. I mean, the, the, the Democrats, they're, they're throwing Nate Silver up up front again as the as the the, the guru the, the you know the crystal ball reader for the Democratic Party, and now Nate Silver, who's historically been totally wrong, always <clears throat> in his predictions about uh, elections, is now saying that the Democrats are in trouble of losing the the Senate and the House majority. Right. So what does it mean? What does it all mean? It means that. It means that the Democratic brand, no matter how much they tried to blame Russia, no matter how much, how many times they they tried to lie and say that Hillary Clinton won the election, right? That that the people that were paying attention know what happened, and they they saw the rigging, and they and they and they're never coming back, and they want to see you fail, right? That's where the Democratic Party is is at right now. They want the the people who used to call themselves Democrats. Uh, they want to see you fall on your fucking face and go away, so that so that what they see as the progressive movement is going to come up and 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 win the show. And <clears throat> are they right? Yeah, it's right. Damn, damn right, they're right. You know. But again, they're they're playing into, in my view, uh, the same political uh, 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 you know position, trying to fill the democratic uh, you know spaces. And, and fix it. I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I, I don't think it's possible unless you get a landslide, unless it's a, a tidal wave of, uh, of new faces who, who are uh, true and authentic. And I just don't think, I don't think that you're going you, you, you're gonna to get that. that. That's my view. So what else do I want to say? So, I mean, this is, this is chickens coming home to roost, right? The Democrats... They lied. They cheated. They they laundered money in the in the primaries. They they shut down polling places. They they took two million votes in in California and threw them in the fucking garbage, <laughs> and 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 uh, you know and on and on and on and on with the cheating and the lying, blaming Russia. There's there's a Guccifer Russian hack in the DNC, and it's all fucking lies. It's all bullshit, right? And and the Podesta email showed us exactly what they were doing, right? collusion remember collu coll colluding with the media state-run media paying off the media to to broadcast their message to stick a knife in in the other candidate sanders is back right that's what it was all that's what really happened and this is this is the product of, you know of that you think that that the, you know you could fool some of the people some of the time right so many people some of the time but you can't fool everybody all the time right and now those people that you can't fool are growing in mass. So, so good luck, Democrats. Congratulations, congratulations on your runs, and I, I wish I wish you all well. And uh, my name is Marcus Conti. I am a candidate, an independent candidate for the United States Senate, here in New York, looking to upseat Kristen Gillibrand, Gillibrand. <laughs> and uh, Chucky Chuck Chuck the fuck Chuck Schumer. Peace.